I've taught year 10 maths for a few years now and every single year without fail, I get asked about the ice cream question. I've dubbed it the dreaded ice cream question. It's a fantastic problem and it's a great one uh, leading into year 12, um, year 11 methods. All right, the volume of ice cream in the cone is half the volume of the cone. The cone has a three centimetre radius, six centimetre height. What is the depth of the ice cream correct to two decimal places? You'd be lulled into thinking that the height of the ice cream would be just three, which would be half the height of the cone, but it's not, okay? It's going to be uh, more than that, okay? And if you think about how that will work, um, pause the video and have a process that, why can't it be just half the height? All right, what I'm gonna do is set up a relationship here. The volume of ice cream in the cone is half the volume of the cone. Now, I know that the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. Now that formula is given to you in three, four and one, two methods. So you don't need to remember that. You just need to know where to find it uh, to use it. So I know that half the vol of the cone is equal to the vol of ice cream. That's what they've told me. So let's find out the volume of the cone, which is half multiplied by one third multiplied by the radius, uh, but multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius squared, which is nine multiplied by six, equals the volume of the ice cream, which is one third multiplied by pi, okay, multiplied by the radius, which we don't know, multiplied by the height, which we also don't know. All right. So this is going to be 9, 6 is a 54. 54 pi on 6 equals pi r squared h over 3. All right, so we haven't really got much to go on. This We want to solve for the height, okay? Um, that would be handy because if we solve for the height, what we'll get is the depth of ice cream in the cone. The only problem is if we solve for the height, the radius is also going to be included. And until I know what the radius is, the height won't tell us the actual height. All right, so here's the trick. Not the trick, but here's the method we're going to use. I'm gonna draw this triangle here, which is three and six. Now that's this triangle here. It's a right angle triangle. And also note that this is another triangle. I've already drawn this one in, but this one here is a different triangle, but it's also a triangle. And I'm gonna use the word similar. It's a similar triangle. Now, why is it similar? Because basically it's in the same proportion as this big triangle here. The sides will reduce in proportion to that. Now, why does that help us? Well, I can list the sides as three and six multiplied by some sort of scale factor to either scale it up, or in this case, to scale it down, because the radius is going to be smaller and the height is going to be smaller for this particular triangle. But I know that each of those, um, the radius and the height, um, decrease or multiply by the same um, scale factor. Now, why does this help us out? Well, what I'm going to do now is rewrite this particular equation here, 54 pi on six equals pi times the radius squared. Now I do know what something about the radius squared is it's gonna be multiplied by three A all squared. That's the radius, three A. Multiplied by the height, which is six A all over three. Now that's going to be 54 pi on six equals. Now this is going to be nine A multiply, nine A, let's just not do this in We'll do a couple set. 9a squared times 6a all over 3. All right, and we've got 54 pi on 6 equals 54 pi a cubed all over 3. All right, so I'm going to divide both sides by 54 pi. So if I divide this side by 54 pi and divide this side by 54 pi, that's gonna cancel out those and gonna cancel out those. And then I'm gonna go one sixth equals a cubed over three. Let's multiply both sides by three. That's three over six equals a to the three. That's half equals a to the three. And then what I will do is third root this side, 
and third root this side, meaning a is equal to the third root of a half. All right, now that is not the height. That's the value of a, that's the scale factor. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is use the scale factor to work out the height. So formally the height, or in this case, they're saying the depth is equal to six lots of a. So you can see from the picture there, it's six lots of a, or our height is six lots of a. So that's gonna be six lots of the third root of a half. Now we're allowed to approximate that. So that's the exact answer in centimeters. If they wanted the exact answer, that's the exact answer. But they're letting us approximate it because, um, well, we wanna see what that actually would represent. It's gonna be a number more than three. Uh, what is the depth correct to two decimal places? Let's whack that into our calculator. Six multiplied by math one has the third root template, or you can raise it to the power of one third, give you the same answer. So it's 4.76 centimetres. Okay, so that height there is 4.76, and that will get half the volume. With that height, you'll get half the volume of the cone itself. So pretty tough problem that one, um, and certainly one worthy of doing a video on, so that I can remember how to do it in in, um, in years on top of this. But um, for anyone else who asks, hopefully that helped you out.